And what do we talk about that we need for an advanced civilization? What's first? Surplus, surplus of food. What happens after the surplus of food? Uh, I'm Justin extra Summers. Time. My graduation is May of 2014. And I am a double major in history, political science, and uh, secondary education uh, focused on social studies. History to me needs to be uh, real. Um, it can't just be lectured. You, what it needs to be discussed. It needs to be, you need to understand it better through questions, through discussion, um, through uh, readings, not just reading out of a textbook. I work at the Howard County Historical Society and Museum and here in downtown Kokomo. Um, I spent most of my time working on putting together a new exhibit that we did last summer called Howard County Then and Now, where we took old pictures from, from way, way, way back then when, all, sometimes all the way back into the 1800s, and then we sort of showed what, what is that site like now. A law degree, and, and with my background and from my UK, you know, you can take those skills and essentially do whatever you want. That's the great thing about the flexibility of the curriculum at IUK and the flexibility of having a law degree. Um, you can teach, you can practice law, you can uh, be a judge uh, or a judicial officer, and you can be a politician. History is always taught in, you know, in elementary and high school, taught as this is the facts, this is what happened. Well, in a college level, it's always, okay, this is what this one person says about this, and this is what another person says about it. Figure out on your own what, the, what, you, think, what you think is true. I think the first thing I would say is that you are going to find instructors here who will guide and support and inform and help you get where you want to go. Um, it's not as intimidating or as scary as you think it is, and once you find those instructors who know what they're doing and they know how to help you, you know, you're halfway there, just showing up is half the battle. And I think that having that grasp of history and how history shapes the world gives us a better grasp about what's going on in the world right now and what we can make in the future. Um, and I think that the, the small class size, the, the, um, the, the sort of flexible scheduling, the, the way that the teachers are very helpful and personable to you, those are all things that have led to my success as a student. Some students go into law and public service, other students go into teaching, um, but really one of the keys is that a degree in history of political science gives you a background of skills for uh, reading skills, writing skills, critical thinking skills, a general understanding of the society, politics, econ economics, social movements that are desired by people who are in really a wide variety of jobs that people look for, as well as just the basic critical thinking skills to take on just about any research type job.